hello and welcome back to my channel it is time to do my october reading wrap up i'm currently wearing oop can you see it a koala onesie because it is october 31st and halloween and i have a very very busy weekend ahead of me so let's jump into this video because i have a lot to do tonight and i still need to go to bed at a decent time so without further ado let's get started um, I first want to talk about my October TBR. I read all of the books on there except for How Minds Change. This book, I just was not in the mental space to read. I had a little bit of time. I had like th two or three days left of October. And I read the synopsis of this book and I just decided that right now I'm not in the mental space to read this book, which is okay. I want to actually enjoy it when I read it. So I decided not to pick it up and read it. And then instead I picked up The Death and Life of the Great Lakes, which I had started earlier this year, put down because I was just not into it and I got really busy. And now I'm really enjoying that. So I am excited to continue reading that and I'm glad I'm picking up books that I'm more in the mood for. So some of my reading stats for the month is I read seven books. October was insanely busy for me, so I didn't get through quite as many books as I usually do in a month, but that's okay. Seven is still way higher than I thought. Um, I did not finish a book until after the halfway point of October. That's how busy it was. I read um, four physical books, one ebook, and two audiobooks. So let's start with the audiobooks. I'll pop a picture up here of those audiobooks. The first one that I finished was Dragonfly in Amber. That is the second book in the Outlander series. And just today, the third book came available to me on Libby. And that one is 43 hours long. So I'm going to have to get a jump on that right away. I'll probably listen to it on two times speed just Otherwise, I'm never going to get through it in 21 days. Um, and then the second audiobook I actually listened to on Spotify, and that was The Hemlock Queen, which is the second book in the Nightshade Crown series. So I'm making progress on a series in the month of October. I was actually very successful on that. Um, the Hemlock Queen, I did not like as much as the first book, which I believe was the um foxglove king i can't remember off the top of my head yeah the foxglove king i'm looking at my beautifully filled in um books i read and i actually ran out of space on this one so i made some more books down here so hopefully that will tide me over the rest of the year otherwise i'll have to figure something out but it's okay for now um yeah so it's the second so I liked The Fox Club King a lot more. I liked the plot of that one a lot more. The Hemlock Queen, I just got really confused at some points about like where the plot was going. And then there was like a character switch partway through. I'm like, was that really necessary? Did it add to the plot? I'm unsure. And then the next book in this series comes out in July of 2025. So we'll see. I'll pick it up. Um, I'll listen to it on audiobook because that's what I've done with the first two. And I prefer to continue series in the format that I started them in. It just makes the most sense for my brain. So those were the two audiobooks that I read. The one ebook that I read and finished was Divine Rivals. Um, this is a book that I've been wanting to read for a while. And this was just the month to read it. I believe I started it at the very end of September. And I'm currently working on the second book in that duology. It's okay. I don't love it as much as I thought I would. I feel like a lot of people really have strong feelings about this series. I do not. Um, the romance, I just wasn't connecting with the characters in that way. The romance was okay. It felt a little disjointed to me. Um, I do like a little bit of the political and like mythological side to it. So I'm hoping that'll pick up in this second book. I just haven't had a lot of time to read this month. So in November, I'm hoping to finish that second book. But I did complete 
Divine Rivals. Now on to the four, yeah, four physical books that I completed in October. The first one that I finished was The Dictionary Wars. This is a book that's been on my shelf for a very long time. And one of the reasons I was very busy in the month of October was I was taking a course on phonological phonemic um, awareness and really diving into some of those topics and morphology um, and like the history of words came into that course and something in my brain sparked that I wanted to pick up this book and I really enjoyed it. I found it really interesting, that etymology of language piece of like how did the American English language get developed? Who were the main players in that? How did it come to be the way that it came to be? And then some big names in dictionaries like Merriam and Webster. Um, where did those come from? And it was just really interesting read and I really enjoy it and I'm glad I picked it up at the time that I did and this book is no longer on my physical TBR. I believe I had a receipt in here and I believe I picked this book up in 2022 so it's been on my TBR shelf for quite a while. Plus this was on my priority TBR for this year and I got that off. The next book that I picked up to read was Golden Girl. I really liked the synopsis of this. I liked the concept of this story. I did not like the writing. I found it quite boring and I did not connect to the characters. I don't know if that was, I was just in a mood where I just wasn't connected, connecting with characters I was reading about, but like I wanted this book and this story to be so much more. So I'm not sure if it's just this author isn't for me. I may, well, actually, I will try one more thing by her because I have a, f a um, free book that I got, like a novella by her. So I'll try that on Kindle. Um, however, we'll see. It might just be the writing style and I just don't connect with this author's writing style, which is okay. But the synopsis of this was really good. It was like a mystery piece. The only thing with that is I knew the... So, within the first part of the book and it's not a spoiler because in the synopsis is the main one of the main characters is killed in a hit and run and part of the story is like figuring out who did it um the thing is within like the first 50 pages of the book I already knew who did it and I kind of figured out why so it wasn't really like surprising or a twist and I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of that so again it didn't deliver on what i wanted it to be so it was okay i don't know if i would recommend it and i need to try it out and see if this author is still for me the next book was a surprise favorite and really got me back into the reading mood was a danger to herself and others this was my blind date with a book that i've had on my shelf for forever and i'm so glad i opened it this month um, this is about Hannah who is institutionalized because of something that happened with her roommate at this like summer um, program and it is so interesting to see the world through her eyes and what she believes and her like journey in this institution and it just was such a good like thinking book it's a young adult book so it's written really easily to read and I definitely would pick up something else by this author because I found this book so compelling and interesting and the ending was so unsatisfying in the best way possible so this book really just like got me back into the reading moon which excited me and yeah it was a surprise favorite and then the last physical book that I finished was The Last Legacy. Again, another um, piece of a series. This is a companion novel to The Narrows um, duology. Uh, so it takes place in The Narrows. It is following 
Bryn, who is part of the Roths, and her journey to find her place in her family. Um, it was fun to step back into that world. Again, a really easy read. It's a young adult. It's a world that I already know. I enjoy this author's writing. So it was fun to step back into that world. It only took me a couple days to read this. If I would have had more time, I probably would have read it faster, but enjoyed this, had a fun time reading it, and another one off of my TBR, and another, I think this is the third book this month that I checked off progress on a series, and then I had a fourth one that started a series, but neither here nor there. So I finished four, my four physical books that I finished were four of the five books off of my um, October TBR, which I feel was super successful for me. Um, and that is all I have for my reading update, my reading wrap up for October. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.